Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Bowl 54 in South Florida. Brent Martineau on Action Sports Shacks on ESPN 690 as we continue along, get closer to the Chiefs and 49ers. And right now, welcomed by Najee Good, Jaguars linebacker. And How he's here doing? at the Super Bowl for a big event. You might get a big honor on Saturday. Yes, sir. Hopefully got to. <laughs> this is pretty cool, actually. You have started a business, and we talked about this a bit on the TV show on All Access, and others have caught on to it, but I don't know if enough people know yeah. about your business called VPO, yes. and you're going to tell us about it in a minute, but Najee is up for this Anything But Ordinary award that the NFL is giving out uh, in conjunction with Microsoft, which kind of showcases players that they do other things than just play football, which yeah. is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool that they um, recognize us for our talents and stuff that we do off the field. And the team nominated me with Microsoft and um, was able to get on the ballot, won the fan vote, came in number one to guys like Travis Kelsey, Dak Prescott, and, you know, all that. But um, going into Saturday, man, get to go ahead and, uh, c you know, compete for a high-caliber award and work with a great company like Microsoft. What does it mean to you to not be just pegged as an athlete, you know, just as a guy who plays football? And I'm not saying that's a negative connotation. That's a pretty cool connotation. Yeah. But there's more to Najee Good beyond that. Does that mean something to you? Yes, sir. It means a lot, man. It means um, it means more just because of yep. how we impact sports, you know. Unfortunately, accidents like just what happened with Kobe yeah, Bryant, yeah. you know, you hear about the legacies that are – impacted outside the game and every athlete has something very unique about them that they do on and off the field and you know I'm honored I'm honored by Microsoft I'm honored by the Jags to actually you know put me up for this award because uh, you know what we're doing personally is really to help out the fans it helps out the team it helps out the fans it connects all of those things together so all right it's called VPO yes now you got to explain this man how do you explain this in layman's terms what you guys do <laughs> yeah so what we do simply is we make digital photos and digital videos that are living inside of the team's app and website interactive and when I mean interactive I mean that you can watch a highlight in Jacksonville this past year you meant you magic you got running around everywhere throwing touchdowns you can watch a highlight of him and you can literally buy his jersey buy his mustache t-shirts that we are <laughs> selling and you can buy you know the cleats of DJ Shark who went to the Pro Bowl catching the touchdown or the same gloves that he used and you can we can sell these things anytime throughout the media and we can do it in real time so fans can actually experience and come closer to the game and actually you know be a part of the team in a different type of way that helps them you know interact with the team, interact with the player, and um, that's just the start of it. Now, when you say real time, you mean in the middle of a game on a Sunday afternoon, jumping off your TV screen or going back to watch a clip, or how does that part of it I mean, work? I mean real time. Like, we, like so, if, yeah, like if we're, if we're watching the news on uh, Fox 30, we can go ahead and actually show you guys the clips that you guys are putting up, and while that's coming from the actual broadcast stream, we can go ahead and, and actually make it interactive so fans can watch it and they can say, damn, that was a great pass, that was a great catch. On a, inter on a replay during that or during the game, you can actually click on the player and you can find out more about him, whatever we want to post to it, or you can buy his apparel that he's actually displaying out there. Wait a minute now, so you could just buy the suit coat I'm wearing you buy the or suit. the tie or something like that? I'm telling you right now, as fresh <laughs> as you want to be on camera right now, we can't. We we can make it happen. <laughs> Real time. You got that? Everybody watching Action News Jacks, Action Sports Jacks, you can buy whatever I'm wearing. I mean, yeah. everybody wants to do that, I'm sure. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. And, and how much has the business side taken off? How, how well are you guys doing with this concept? So, yeah, we're doing um, pretty well. We've partnered with uh, four teams that we're working with. We're working with the Indianapolis Colts, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, the Jacksonville Jaguars, and Denver Broncos. And all of these teams are seeing, you know, the effect of what's happening is that these teams have followings on social media, digital media, and because we can make the fans, because we can allow the fans really to interact with the team and the players at peak moments of interest, you know, we can give the teams what they want as far as, you know, communicating with the fans and communicating via the players, and the teams end up growing in their social media following to, you know, million, million plus, 500,000 awesome. plus, and it really just allows people to, you know, experience and interact and tell better stories throughout sports. That's really cool. Najee Good with us, Jaguars linebacker, Action Sports Shacks on ESPN 690, rolls on from Super Bowl 54. You know what I love about it is I think a lot of us say, hey, this would be a good idea. Yeah. Or I'm going to try this. Or even I've 
about a million times already in my life said, I think this would be good on a T-shirt, but I've never put it on a T-shirt or I've never <laughs> gone and done it. You yeah. sound like you said, hey, this would be a good idea. Or the people you're working with said, let's go do it. And you, you didn't wait till after your career or anything like that. You jumped on the opportunity. That's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I, like I said, I got a great team that we work with. And yeah, when we saw that it was a possibility and that it was available, the, the first thing we asked, like, why has nobody else done it? <laughs> but um, <laughs> once we saw the opportunity for it, man, you, you kind of get a little advantage as being a player. You know yeah. what fans want to see. You kind of know, you know, what's good content, what what the NFL puts out there. So, you know, we, we're essentially here to, to help make everything else better. All right, Najee, good. That's the business side. Now the football side. Where are you at in your career? You've been playing probably yeah. longer than most people think you've been playing. Yeah, 10 years. <laughs> Coming up on a decade, right? Yep. Uh, where's the future now, especially with the business interests? Mm -hmm. Do you still have the passion to play as oh. much as you once did? And, and how much longer can you play? Yeah, I mean, that's the one good thing about the business side and the football side is that they never interrupt or overlap each other. And because what we do is we optimize, you know, NFL and, and digital content, you know, I can concentrate on football. You know, I, I love coming down to events like this. You know, I like talking about what we're doing because it's something for everybody. Yeah. And when I have to get in football mode, I can easily get into football mode and I can go back and have the extreme, pure passion and determination and commitment to the game because I don't have to worry about, you know, what, what our other guys are doing or what, you know, what the business side is doing because we got a good team. So, I mean, the same thing that the fans want out of us for the football side is the same thing that they're going to get out of the VPO side. That's really cool. Um, congratulations on all that success. you got to help me out, man. You've been in the league for 10 years. You know what it looks like when it's good. You know what it looks like when it's not so good. Yeah. How the heck do we fix the Jags? I mean, it, it's you can feel it. You oh, know it from the fans. Yeah. It was a one good year in 17, but it's been frustrating. Yeah. Uh, I know even from the players' side. Yeah. What, what, can it be fixed quick? How do you view what the Jags oh, yeah. are right now? I think the moves that we made, you know, just recently, Recently, we're keeping parts that we have, man. I think it was good. I think that that is the initial steps of the fix. I think that we've already wor are working our way there. And the best part about it is that we, we're going to have high competition at every position to make the team to go out there and excel. And, you know, you already see it at the quarterback position. You're going to see it at other positions. And the truth be told, we had a young team. We got a young team that's like the learning. youngest in the NFL by age. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you see the talent that we have. I, I guarantee no fan watched our games and said that this we were just flat out just beat. It was things that we did wrong. It didn't look the best at times. But, you know, we see we have the talent there. So the guys are healthy. That's the first thing. The guys got to be healthy. And then the second thing is that, man, we got to play together. And we got experience with a backup that you rare, very rarely get. And that, that comes out and plays at a high caliber, how he plays. And then you still we still have Nick. And then you still have all the receivers. And now we just got to add on to the pie. Well, the eyesore at times was the defense in the in the run game yeah. uh, and the lack thereof. And that's where I, I take personally. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to yeah, say, yeah. how much did your room take yeah. in, in almost offense to some of the performances this year? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, to be real, you know, you don't, as being an athlete and being a man, you don't, you, you know, we never accept it. I mean, you never accept anything. You never settle throughout the season because you have to get better as you keep moving. So the only way to do that is to keep improving. And, you know, in our room, you know, we, we were we, not down on ourselves, but, you know, we took that as a straight check to the face. It was, a, you know, punch to the face to say, you know what, you know, we got Miles, we got Quincy, you know, I was starting. And then, you know, Leon Jacobs, guys that had experience. Yeah. We knew that we know that what we have to do is that we have to step up personally and it's flat out we got to play better yeah. like straight up man we got to play better you know I, and i know that that high caliber of football and great defense is what you know the city the team is used to we go from stopping the game the team like the saints you know who make it to you know the nfc championship and they or the, you know they make it to championship games and they go deep in the playoffs and we hold them to 13 you know nine ten points and then we come back and we have the upsets where we, you know, give up 200 yards rushing in back-to-back -back weeks. So I think that, you know, as a linebacker, consistency is the one thing that, that really stuck with us this year is that we got to improve our consistency throughout the year. We got to improve our consistency as a player on and off the field. You hear it all the time. You know what the fan pulse is. Everybody wants everybody fired when things don't go wrong. Right. Uh, what have you seen from this defense, this scheme, this Todd Wash, all those things? Like, yeah. wh Why do you think they didn't make a change? What did they see inside the building yeah. that said, hey, this is better than it might look from the outside looking in? Because it works. Flat, flat out simple. I mean, that's why it's like the same thing. Cons cons considering consistency, it didn't. It didn't work because we were doing crazy scheme stuff. Like I, you know, I, I like 
our defense. I played in multiple teams and played for multiple years. And one thing you get to see is how defenses get constructed and you get to see how coaches are strict and you get to see how coaches are loose. I think that we have an even kill balance because, you know, with guys like Telvin and Malik Jackson and Miles and Leon as a rookie, like, you know, you, you still have high caliber players like that, but they're playing the same defense. And then you play at Houston, we lose 12 to 13. Yeah. You play, you know, Houston is playing. They should, uh, you know, judging by the way the game went, the SC Championship, they should have been in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so, I mean, it, it works. It's just, you know, that that's the fine-tuning that we have to do. And the one thing that we got to do is take the right steps, man, to, to, to sustain that. One other question. Uh, you guys play in London. Jack's play in London every yeah. year. There's some talk might play multiple games in London. Uh, from a player perspective, is it a competitive disadvantage, do you think, going over there? Um, and tough to get your bearings. I mean, is there concern about that from a player's point of view? Yeah. Just the annual trip over there and, and maybe even more than one annual trip over there, or at least annual game over there. Yeah, I think that um, the one thing that – this is my first time playing there. So, like, okay. it, it was and it wasn't – the only – the only concern is the flight. You go over there on the flight and the time change, but it's so different. I mean, it's like six, seven hours. Yeah. I think the time change really affects you when it's like two or three because I've been in those games where we go from, you know, I played in Philadelphia and we play in Cali, and you, you waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning because your body feel like it's 8. Yeah. So you're ready to play a game at, you know, 11, 12, but you don't play until 5 or 6 at night. So yeah. you yeah. get all messed up. But uh, going over there, the one thing that I think will happen is that those trips will become more scientifically regimented like they'll understand the science that goes behind the body and you know um we had i mean we didn't play our best over there either yep. but we the game started off you know we going into the locker room at halftime six to three yeah they have won games over there too, yeah so. we won games yeah so it's like it's not it's not you know i think that as it proves on i think that the science and more of the technical stuff will get behind it that i mean it's a fun trip it's a nice playing ride <laughs> you, get to, you get to enjoy another city so it's pretty cool all right lastly uh you played against the chiefs um who you got in this game Man, I got – I was telling everybody, if it's a low-scoring game, I take San Fran. If it's a high-scoring game, I'm taking the Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good way to sit on the fence. After this VPO thing works really well, you might run for uh, office. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you be uh, a politician. <laughs> um, I agree. I think actually it will be high-scoring. I think both can score. Yeah. I kind of like the Chiefs uh, so forth. It's tough to stop them, man. There, yeah. That is a, you, you play on that side of the ball. Man. You got to pick your poison. Exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, I played against them multiple years. Like, I played with – when they had Alex Smith to when they had Patrick Mahomes, the, the thing is Andy Reid. Yeah. That dude, he, you know, he's he a little kid in the backyard drawing up the plays <laughs> in the sand, and they work. Yeah, he's <laughs> so, pretty good. Yeah. Hey, congratulations on the success uh, off the field, especially coming into this week. Good luck on Saturday. Anything but ordinary. Microsoft, the NFL, Jaguars nominated. You Check out VPO. It's pretty cool. Thank you. I yes. might have to sign us up on the news or something. Hey, we'll we to work, love to work deal. with you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody can buy my tie. I mean, everybody calls in and emails all the time, say, hey, that's a cool tie you're wearing. I'm, hey, I'm telling you. No, they really don't say that. But maybe they will if I join with you. <laughs> and Najee, good. Enjoy the offseason. Uh, thank you. All right, we'll be back. Action Sports Chats on ESPN 690 from Super Bowl 54.